Hey everybody, welcome back. Man, we've got the Phillies of the Giants here. The Giants are right in the thick of things, and they put Clint Hartung out there against the Philadelphia Phillies. 18-6, and six, the record for the Giants, and since we've seen Pittsburgh start to slip, um, winning this game would be helpful, and uh, Cabarello hits one over to Whitey Lockman in the left field for the first out. First pitch swing. Here is Andy Semenik, who takes a ball. Hitting 299 this season. There's another ball low, 2-0 oh, the count on Semenik. That's foul back. It's 2-1 and one on Andy. And uh, he fouls another one off. Two and two now the count on Semenik. And there's one that misses. Full count now on Semenik. And there's a ground ball over to, sh- to uh, Gordon at uh, third base. Makes the play. Throws to first for the second out. Del Ennis now. And uh, there's a fastball on side. One and no the count. And there's a long one hit down left field. And that one is out for a home run. one nothing Phillies. And uh, Hartung uh, has me a little worried. Next up, Bill Nicholson hits a little ground ball over to second base. It's Lorca who has it. Throws to first for the out. And here comes Willard Marshall. Marshall up there um, takes a uh, strike. Uh, Owen won the count on him, hitting 364. There's a ball to him. One and one the count. One and two. Now Marshall good on base percentage, good slugging percentage, good at everything. Fouls one back, still one and two. And then he swings and misses. Robin Roberts gets him for the first strike out of this game. Up now, Sid Gordon takes an inside pitch for a ball. One and oh, the count on Gordon. Fouls one back. It's one and one on him. And uh, there's ball off the plate. Two and one now the count. Here's a chopper up the middle, and uh, Hamner has it, throws over to first base for the out, two away. Here's Bill Rigney. Rigney up there takes a uh, fastball high for a ball, 1-0 and the count, and uh, there's a strike in there, 1-1 one one now on Bill. And there's a little ground ball uh, towards first base. Sisler grabs that, goes to the bag for the out. We go to the top of the second, and here is Dick Sisler who takes a strike. Swing and a miss on that high fastball, 0-2 oh the count now. There's one foul back, it remains 0-2. Oh and two. And uh, there's one that's wide. One and two, now the count on uh, Sisler. And that one is up and uh, too high, two and two. There's a ground ball over to third base. Gordon has it, throws to first for the out, one away. And here is Willie Jones, uh, who takes a strike. And uh, ball, one and one, now the count on Jones. And that one's in the dirt, no swing. Two and one, now the count on him. And that's fouled back. It's two and two now on Willie Jones. And there's a fly ball over to Whitey Lockman, left field for the out, two away. Granny Hamner up there now, takes a strike, 0 and one, the count. And uh, there's a little ground ball over to Lork on the right side. Makes the play, throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here is Walker Cooper. Takes the ball high. And there's one that's popped up, and cabarello has got it for the first out. Up now, Whitey Lockman, who takes the ball. And uh, there's a ground ball over to shortstop. Hamner has it and throws to first for the out. Two away, and that'll bring up Johnny Mize, who takes the ball. 1-0 and the count now on Johnny. And uh, there's another fastball that misses. 2-0 and the count. And there's one fastball high. 3-0 and the count now. That's fouled back. Three and one is the count on Mize now. And that's popped up and out of play. Three and two. And the count remains full. There's a ground ball over to second base. Cabarello has it. Throws over to first for the out. We go to the top of the third. No hits in the Giant for the Giants so far in this game. Richie Ashburn takes the ball and then swings and misses at a strike. There's another ball high. Two and one the count now on Ashburn. And there's a swing and a miss on that one. It's two and two. There's one hit over to right center field. And it's actually going to be Marshall running over and grabbing that one for the first out. And uh, hit the wrong button. Here's Robin Roberts. Roberts, no hits so far in this season after nine at-bats, and he hits a little ground ball over to Brigney at short, makes the play and throws over to first for the out, and ups, up is uh, Pugsley Cabarello again. I guess uh, we can say that Roberts is not up there to hit. Two and one now the count on Cab- uh, Caballero, and uh, he hits a fly ball over to Whitey Lockman in the left field. He has it for the out. We go to the bottom of the third. Why, uh, Bobby Thompson here, and uh, boy, he gets a pitch that he likes, hits that one into the left field stance for a home run. That is going to be home run number three on the season for him, and that ends the no-hitter, and that ends the shutout, and it's a one-to-one ball game. Here is Jack Lork, and that's the way the Giants have been so far this year, coming back from behind. Lork uh, takes a strike and hits a little uh, ground ball over to Hamner at short. He makes the play, throws a Sicily at first for the out, one away, and here is Clint Hartung, who takes the ball. Another ball high, 2-0 and the count now on him, and there's a fastball below the knees for a ball. 3-0, and and um, pitcher Hartung was taking the whole way, and Roberts couldn't find the plate, and so Hartung is on that first base. Here's Willard Marshall again, and he pops one up to Caballero, the uh, second baseman for the f- second out of the inning, and here is Sid Gordon. Hits one deep to left field, but just foul, just missing being a home run. There's a ball to him. 1-1 one one the count now to Gordon. He hits one through the right side for a base hit. Hartung is rounding second. Of course, we're not going to send him. That'll bring up Bill Rigney now. Runners on first and second. 1-1 one, one ball game, bottom of the third. And there's a ball in there to Rigney. And there's another ball inside. 2-0 oh, the count. And there's one that misses way outside. 3-0 oh, now in Rigney. And there's ball four high and outside. And that means that Roberts has walked the bases loaded for Walker Cooper. Cooper up there hitting 229, not hitting as well now as he was before. But he hits one over the fence in left field for a grand slam. And, uh... 
Wow, that uh, that makes this a five to one ball game, just like that. Cooper with his fourth home run of the season he only had four in real life. He's got four in this season up through uh, not even mid May. Whitey Lockman takes the ball, one to know the count on him, and he belts one down the right field line for a home run. And so the Giants go back to back six to one. The score now. Johnny Mize up there now fouls one back off the catcher. Zero and one. There's a bouncer off the mound over to a Hamner who has it, throws the first for the out. We go to the top of the fourth. Here's Andy Semenik who takes a strike and then a ball. One and one the count now on Semenik. Hits that one well to right center field. Marshall runs back and is able to grab that one over his uh, over his shoulder for the first out. And here's Del Ennis who takes the ball. One and oh the count. And another ball inside. It's 2-0 and oh now on Dell. And there's a fastball inside. 3-0 and oh the count on him. There's a strike in the knees. 3-1 and one now. Here's one low and outside, and he checks his swing, takes his base. Runner on first base now for Bill Nicholson, who takes a ball. And uh, there's a strike in there to Nicholson. One and one the count now. And there's a swing and a miss. It's strike two. One and two is now the count. And uh, count remains one and two. And uh, he holds up on that one. Two and two now the count on Nicholson. And uh, he foul tips that one. Cooper has it, and uh, that's going to be strike three, two away. And here is Dick Sissler, first strike up for Hartung. And there's a ball in there to Sissler. Want to know the count? And there's one lined over to first base. Mice has a great play by the first baseman. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's Bobby Thompson. And uh, this is the first time I've seen a uh, little smiley face emoji here. This is kind of an odd um, type of... Uh, uh, odd type of uh, uh, play-by-play text. I'm not sure how uh, clearly you can see this text or not, but I'll tell you that um, as far as the uh, colored um, text is concerned, this one's a little bit weird. Um, I guess I'll put it here in my humor folder, I suppose. I'm not quite sure where to characterize this. I didn't think it was that funny, and it seems like something from the late 90s. Bobby Thompson has a ground ball over to Hamner. The shortstop throws to first for the out, one away, and here's Jack Lork, who takes a ball high, then a strike down the middle, one and one the count on him, and that's high for a ball. It's two and one. There's a chopper to third base. Jones has it, throws over to first base, and gets him two away. Clint Harting, the pitcher up there now, takes another ball. And another ball. He hasn't seen a strike yet. 2-0 oh, the count on him now. And that's a ball low and outside. 3-0 oh, on Hartung. And um, he takes all the way. And there is ball four. And he walks over to first base. I was just looking at his real-life stats. Only four walks in the regular season in real life compared to 21 strikeouts. He's got two walks in this game so far. Here is Willard Marshall with a runner on first base. And there's a swing and a miss on a slider. Owen oh, won the count. That's high for a ball. One and one now. Chases that fastball. Fouls it away. One and two now the count on Marshall, and that's not even close. Two and two now the count on him. And uh, there's one fouled off the thumbs. Remains two and two, and that's chopped off his foot. It remains two and two again. And there's a swing and a miss. Strike three, and that does it for the uh, Giants in the bottom of the fourth. We'll go to the top of the fifth, and it's Willie Jones out there for the Phillies. He takes the ball inside. And uh, there's one that's fouled out of play. One and one the count now on Jones. That's hit deep to right field. Going back, 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 and Marshall's there for the out. One away, and here's Granny Hamner. And he hits one right in front of the face, uh, in front of the front of the face, in front of the plate. Hooper grabs it, throws to first, but not in time. Hamner with that speed, like a member of the '85 Cardinals, and that'll bring up Richie Aspirin, who hits one to left field for a base hit. Two on, and only one out for Jim Constanti, who the relief pitcher who will stay in. He takes the ball low. Looks to bunt. One and one the count as that one goes foul. There's a good bunt now over to Hartung, and he goes to first base, the only play he has. Moves the runners up to second and third here for Caballero. Caballero fouls one back, oh, and one the count now on uh, Putzi, and uh, he hits a little ground ball over to Lork, who gets through the bad hop, makes the play, throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and here is Sid Gordon for the Giants. There's a ball in there to uh, Gordon, 1-0 and oh the count, and there's another ball off the plate, 2-0. and oh. That's in there for a strike, 2-1 and one the count now on Gordon. It's a good breaking ball, just misses for ball three. 3-1 three, pitch, and that's strike two called. It's a full count now on Gordon. And there's strike three called, and that one just snuck in there for the strikeout. One away, Bill Rigney now. There was a ball low and outside to Rigney, 1-0 oh the count. And he hits a base hit over the left center field. And boy, he's able to uh, stretch that one into a double. I don't know how well advised that is when you're up by six, but uh, Rigney gets a double out of what was normally a base hit. Walker Cooper up there now, and he's got that fourth home run already today. One and one the count now on Cooper, and there's a slider in there for a strike. One and two now, and there's a little ground ball over to uh, Short. Hamner has that one, throws over to first for the out, and he does look Rigney back to the bag. Whitey Lockman up there now, uh, and uh, he hits a little ground ball over to Sister, who does it himself. We go to the top of the sixth, and it is Andy Semenik again who takes a strike. One one the count on him, and there's a ball. One and one the count. And uh, there's one high and inside. Two and one now. Strike two is in there. Two and two now on Semenik. There's a swing and a miss, and he's gone, and uh, that'll bring up Del Ennis. There's a ball outside, 1-0 oh the count, and there's one low, 2-0 oh the count now on Ennis. That's hit deep to right field, and that's off the uh, fence, and that will be a double for Ennis, and uh, that'll bring up Bill Nicholson. 
Uh, there's a little pop-up out of play. Cooper can't quite get to it. 0-1 oh, the count, and then he lays off of one high. 1-1 one one the count on Nicholson and takes another ball. It's 2-1. and one. There's a little ground ball over to Rigney. He makes a play over to first. Ennis goes over to third base, and here's Dick Sistler. There's a, a ball to Sistler. 1-0 oh, the count, and that's down the middle of the plate for a strike. 1-1 one one the count now on Sistler. That's outside for a ball. It's 2-1. and one. There's a line drive to center field, and that will score the run and make this a 6-2 to two ball game, and that brings up Willie Jones, hit number 5 for the Phillies. Jones up there, fouls one back. 0-1 oh, is the count on Willie. And there's a little pop-up on, onto the infield, and Lork has it for the out. We go to the bottom of the six. Still a 6-2 to two lead now for the Giants. Johnny Mize up there now, and he takes a ball. And uh, another ball. No, that's a strike. 1-1 one one the count now on Mize as he took that one. There's a ball, two in the dirt, a slider. There's a breaking ball low. It's 3-1 and one now to Mize. And, uh, boy, Constant, he had him way out in front of that one, and he hits a little uh, ground ball over to Caballero, who uh, makes the play, throws the first for the out, one away. Bobby Thompson up there now with already a home run today, number three of this season for him. He's got a catch up to Walker Cooper, one and one the count now on Thompson. He hits a little ground ball over to Sistler, who does it himself to the bag, two away. That'll bring up Jack Lork, who fouls one back, oh, and one the count on Lork. And uh, there's a ball to him, one and one the count now, and that's a slider that's low. It's two and one on Lork, and there's ball three high, three and one the count. And he hits one deep to left field, and that is gone. His first home run of the season, and that makes it a seven to two ball game. So the Giants get that run back quickly. Hartung up there now, and he will stay in, of course. One and one the count on him as he's seen his first strike of the game. Swings and misses at that one, one and two. One and two, the count remains, um, and it remains one and two. That uh, screwball misses over the plate, two and two. And there's a foul ball, and Sisler has it over there at first base for the out. So we go to the top of the seventh. It's going to be Granny Hamner up there again. Strike in there to Hamner. Owen won the count, and there's a ground ball over to Mize, who uh, runs over to the bag um, with the ball, does it himself, one away. Here's Richie Ashburn, and he hits a fly ball over to Lockman in, in left field for the second out, and that'll bring up Stan Lopata. Lopata is the uh, pinch hitter here for uh, Constanti, and he has a one and one count on him, and there's a little... Uh, poke out in front of Thompson in center field for a base hit, and that'll bring up Caballero again. Runner on first base. Caballero is over three today, hitting 278. Hits one over to right center field. It's going to be Thompson who, um, I'm sorry, Marshall who grabs that one for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And up to pitch comes none other than Schoolboy Rowe, Schoolboy Rowe of uh, Detroit Tigers fame, and it'll be him against Willard Marshall who gets a base hit promptly off of him right back and up the middle. And that means that uh, Sid Gordon comes on with a runner in on uh, at first base, and he takes a ball. 1-0 the count now on Gordon. There's a ball to him again, 2-0. and And that's well out and away. 3-0 the count on Gordon. There's ball four around the knees, and that uh, means there are runners on first and second now for Bill Rigney. Bill hitting 385 this season, and he takes a pitch high. 1-0 the count. That's above the letters, 2-0 and now. And there's one hit over to right field. Nicholson is there to make the play. One away, and here's Walker Cooper. Already has that big home run today. Takes a ball high. It's a pop-up, and uh, Semenik has that one for the out, two away, and that'll bring up Whitey Lockman. Lockman takes the ball, 1-0 oh, the count on him, and there's a ground ball over to Hamner, makes the play, throws over to the second baseman, Caballero, covering second for the out. We go to the top of the eighth, and it'll be Andy Semenik. Andy takes the ball high, and uh, there's a fastball over the plate, 1-1. One, oh, one. That's another one high, 2-1 and one the count. And uh, there's a ball to Semenik, 3-1, and one, and then a ground ball over there that Tartan gets a uh, hand on to. Rigney makes the play, throws over to Mize for the out, one away. Del Ennis up there now takes a ball high, 1-0 and oh the count, and there's another one high. It's 2-0 and oh now on Ennis. There's a strike in there to him, 2-1 and one now the count on Del Ennis. And that's inside, too far inside, 3-1 and one the count, and there's a fastball low and away. Ennis takes his base. And here comes Bill Nicholson, and that is only the second walk given up by Hartung. And uh, Nicholson hits a little foul ball over to the left side. It's going to be Rigney who runs over and grabs that one for the out. So uh, one pitch swinging uh, for Nicholson fouls out. And here's Dick Sisler with two out here at top of the eighth. And he hits one down the right field line that hooks at the pole, and that is fair, and that's a home run. That makes this a 7-4 to four game for the Giants as Sisler gets the big home run and collects his second and third RBIs of the game. And here is Willie Jones now. There's a strike in there to Jones. Oh, and won the count on him. There's a high drive to deep left field, and that's another home run. And Hartung is falling apart. Seven to five is the lead now. And here's Granny Hamner who takes a strike. There's a ball in there to Hamner. One and one the count. And there's one outside. It's two and one on Hamner. And he fouls one away. Two and two the count now. There's a line single over to left field for a base hit, and that'll bring up Richie Ashburn. I'm going to stay with Hartung through the end of this inning if I can. One and one now the count on Ashburn as he took a ball and then fouled one off. That's ball two to him. Two and one. Fouls one back, two and two, the count now on Ashburn. That's inside for ball three. Full count on him now, and there's a check swing. Just fouls that to stay alive, and uh, that's fouled away again. 
Count remains full, and uh, there's one line pass Rigney of uh, the uh, left side for a base hit, and that'll bring up the pitcher, schoolboy row. And uh, I think we're going to try to let Harting stay in for a second longer. Eddie Wyatkus is going to be the pinch hitter. And um, he flips that one to center field for a base hit, and that will load the bases. Now we have to do something. So that is going to be the end of the line here for Hartung, who I gave as much chance to as I possibly could, probably to uh, my own detriment. We're going to put in Red Webb. Red Webb is going to be the pitcher, and he will uh, take Lockman's space in the batting order, and we'll put uh, this guy in, I think. Yeah, we're going to put Pete Milne in, and uh, we'll have him uh, hit ninth and uh, play left field. Put C. Caballero up there. Bases loaded. 0 for 4 today. There's a ball to him. 1 and 0 the count. And a strike. 1 and 1 the count now as Webb gets back in there. And there's a little ground ball down to Lork. He makes the play throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It'll be Johnny Mize. Mize comes up there and uh, he takes a strike in the outside on the inside corner. My apologies. 0 and 1 the count. And there's a foul ball off a third into the seats, 0 and 2. And that one just missed for ball 1 and 2 the count now on Mize. 2 and 2 is that one just missed. Has dumped over to center field, and that's a base hit for Mize. That'll bring up Bobby Thompson with a runner on. There's a uh, throw to first, nothing doing. And there's a swing and a miss by Thompson, 0 and 1 the count. And there's a ball to him, 1 and 1 now on Thompson. That one just missed, 2 and 1 now the count on Thompson. And there's a strike, it's 2 and 2 now on Bobby. And that's a pitch inside that misses, full count now on Thompson. That one's fouled straight back. Count remains full, and he hits one to center field. And, boy, that's a great play out there by Richie Aspirin, who runs, dives, tumbles, and uh, is able just barely to hold on to that ball. And uh, that's a very, very good play there by the center fielder for the uh, first out of the inning. Um, I love seeing the awful plays, as you know, but sometimes these great plays are good to look at as well, and that was one that's, uh, I think, uh, worthy of a highlight. Good play-by-play description, I would say, by the game. And here's Jack Lork. And um, he hits a little fly ball over to Ashburn in center field for the second out. And here's Pete uh, Milna for he only his third at bat of the season. One and one the count now on Pete. There's a liner over first base foul. It's one and two. Fouls one back. The count remains one and two. And uh, he swings and misses that one and strikes out. And that'll do it. We go to the top of the ninth. And Red Webb stays in there. Andy Semenik takes a, a ball out of the zone and then swings and misses at one. One and one the count. Another swing and a miss. It's one and two. There's a foul down the right side just out of play. There's a fly ball down to uh, left field, and that's a home run there for Andy Semenik, and that makes this a 7-6 to six ball game. We have seen a lot of home runs hit here at the uh, Polo Grounds in this game, I'll tell you what. And uh, boy, oh boy, this one uh, suddenly has become very, very interesting. And if you're a Giants fan, this is the game that this is the sort of game that you don't want to become interesting. The Giants, I say this so many times for so many of these teams, the Giants really should be dominating this game. It should easily be able to beat the Phillies. This isn't a great Phillies team. Del Ennis takes the ball inside, 1-0 the count. There's uh, one in the dirt, 2-0 now. His red web almost falls off the mound. That misses low, 3-0 now the count. And there's a strike in there, 3-1, that grooved in there. Flare over to right field. Marshall there has it for the out, one away. Here's Bill Nicholson who takes the ball, 1-0 the count. That's fouled back one and one now on Nicholson, and he hits one over to the right side. Lork has it, um, but he cannot make a throw and cannot get that out at first base, and that'll bring up Dick Sisler. And uh, this is one of those games where you really have to fasten your seatbelts. This was a very quick progressing game at the beginning, uh, despite the fact we've had quite a few pitches thrown. Um, I was just looking here at the uh, time, and it looks like we are not even 20 minutes into this one. And... um, uh, there is a chance here for the uh, Phillies to make this into um, a tie game or even take the lead here. Here is Dick Sisler already has a home run, and we're going to slow this one down here definitely. There's a strike to Sisler, 0-1 oh, the count, and there's one high, 1-1 one one the count now on Sisler. That's heading out of play, 1-2 and two is now the count on Sisler after that foul ball. And, uh, boy, I tell you, Webb gets the out at second base. He turns around, throws it over to the uh, shortstop, Rigney. But Rigney, unfortunately, drops the ball in the transfer. It looks like um, Sisler probably was going to be safe at first anyway. But, uh, boy, that's a could have been. If that had been a double play, that would have ended this ball game easily. Um, as it stands, uh, Sisler ends up uh, as the runner on at first base, and we are not out of this one yet. That will bring up Willie Jones. Jones up there now, and uh, there is a, a ball in there to Jones as he checks his swing. One and no the count. And there's that ground ball over to Rigney at shortstop. He flips that one over to Lork, who makes the uh, force out on Sisler, and that does it. And so there is an attempt to come back. You're telling me there's a chance. Well, there was a chance, and they took the chance, and the chance, um, unfortunately, ended up uh, not being much as Jones ends up uh, grounding out for the Phillies here um, in the uh, top of the ninth inning to end this one. 
And so there's your ball game. Um, a lot of home runs hit in this one. I wanted to take a quick look over here and see four hit by the Phillies and four hit by the Giants. We have eight home runs in this game overall. I don't recall off the top of my head what the record um, for that was at the time, but we'll look that up and we'll report on that a little bit later on for you. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, what an exciting game here uh, today, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye-bye.